Welcome to our very first unboxing and toy review video. Finally, I've been able to pull off this video and I wanted to do a Facebook Live, but I wasn't able to. So this is the next best thing is just make a video, be able to get it out there for you guys. Hopefully I can do this once a week. I'm gonna try to do it once a week. Anybody that knows me, I say that all the time and I'm just horrible with these things. I really need an assistant, somebody to help me out with this. Sorry there's no intro, intro music. You know, things are touchy with copywriting and stuff. I'm working on that as well. Working on uh, to see a couple people will try to do something for me. Some type of intro music, hit, hit. But anyway, thank you guys for your support. Thank you for tuning in. And we're gonna get this baby started. Here's just a few samples of what's to come. I got tons and tons, tons and tons of stuff that um, are old school collectibles. We have die cast cars, we have NASCAR, Hot Wheel, Matchbox, we have action figures, we have it all. So once a week we'll bring out some stuff, I'll probably bring it out in the tote and we'll do a mystery tote toy review and just pull things out from the tote. Uh, for today's episode though, we got these bad boys right here that we're going to review. Uh, we got all these little mystery boxes and mystery packages. I don't know if you guys have noticed them at the Walmarts or Walgreens. And you'll be able to, when you buy these little figures, you don't know what's inside. Some of them are really cool. Some of them are eh. But we'll go through them all, let you know if it's worth it, let you know the detail. I'm a huge Funko fan, so they always knock it out of the park with a lot of their mystery figures. I'll show you a couple of the stuff that I personally owned. Then on this side over here, we have the Funko Pop figures. Um, we'll go through those as well. We'll review them, let you know where I was able to pull some off. A lot of these things that you see here will be on sale on our page. Um, I do have albums for each um, type of category, at, at least as I go through it. But again, Anything you see here you're interested in buying, just send me a, a, a private message and I'll get back with you and we'll, we can work that out. Um, we're also going to go over these little figures. We got some metal die cast figures. These are Wonder Woman's. We have some Nightmare Before Christmas figure to go over. These guys right here for all you Harry Potter fans. These are mystery boxes that... um have the ones inside of them and as the box says the one the the one chooses you you don't know what's inside we'll go over that if you're as young as I am you remember playing with these bad boys these are the Tonka trucks they're miniature Tonka trucks very cool I bought one I couldn't resist I opened it up really neat these are all sealed everything in here is sealed I haven't opened any of them so it'll be a first for for me as well this one right here not for sale peeps was a gift given to me by Rhapsody my daughter love you so much thank you I love it but we'll I haven't opened it yet but we'll open it we'll review it here as well um we have Spider-Man Far From Home mystery box Stranger Things um uh, mystery box Aquaman Toy Story Avengers uh what's this one here Pint Size Heroes these are mystery little bags. This one is for the Masters of the Universe. They look pretty cool. We have Nightmare Before Christmas. I can't wait to do this one. Super, super excited. Super excited. Batman, black and white. And then, that's the figures in the back. And then apparently, there's a mystery villain. Yep, there's a mystery villain that you can get inside the packages. I'll try to look it up to see what the what the level of rarity is on these. Here's some more. And we'll explain the, the images in the back. Some of them, like this one here, they have a little chart in the back. It tells you um, like 1 in 12. A lot of these are 1 in 12 in here. But sometimes they have some rare ones inside of them. Um, same thing as this one. Let's see this one. Same thing. They all basically say 1 in X amount of 1 in 24, 1 in 12, 1 in 36. 
So we'll go over that as well. Um, one in 72. There's a figure in here that's one in 72. But anyway, again, thank you guys for tuning in. Um, thank you so much for your support. We're going to get this bad boy started. First up, we are doing Tonka trucks. So if you're as young as I am, you remember playing with these bad boys. They were massive. They were metal. They were hardcore. I love these trucks. So now, uh, there's a company called Funrise. They got, they started making these little guys. They're little mystery packages. They look like little garage. It's like a little garage thing. All of these are sealed. We're going to open them up for the first time. They're really cool. I happened to buy one and I couldn't wait. So I had to open it up and they're really, really cool. Uh, so if you're a fan of Tonka trucks or you just want to reminisce and have, instead of having the big bulky metal ones, which I don't even think they make a metal anymore. Um, Toys R Us is gone, so I can't go over to Toys R Us. I've yet to see a Tonka truck at Walgreens. I mean, at Walmart. So, um, if you guys have pictures of any current uh, Tonka trucks that are out there, if they're metal, send it to me. I'll post it on the website, on our, our Facebook page. How many are in the series? I don't know. It doesn't say it on here. Normally, it tells you. It'll say something like, collect them all, 12, or something like that. So we're going to start with this one right here. All right. Can't even hear it moving inside. So we got, oh, these are pretty cool because it looks like you can actually stack these on top of each other. That's pretty neat. And then this container, I don't know if you guys can actually see it very well, but this container is different from this one, which I'll open up, that looks like a brick. Let me just go ahead and open all of these up at once. Very cool. I didn't notice that when I bought it, that the actual containers to them which look like little garage things. I guess that's the bottom. We'll go with that's the bottom. We'll find out in a few seconds. So yeah, so these things have these little groove things on them that look like you can actually keep them inside the container and stack the container on top of each other, which is kind of pretty cool. If you don't want nobody to see what's inside, which, uh, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that yet. Tonka, putting it out there. Man, I used to love these trucks. I think I have one in the garage somewhere. I have to look it up. If I find it, I'll take a picture of it and post it. Then things last forever. Try not to kill myself with these scissors. All right, so, yep, just like I thought. So these two right here look like regular plain containers. Not much to them. But these guys over here, they wibble wobble, but they look like bricks. And super cool. I think I broke that one. No. Super cool because you can stack it on top of each other. Pretty badass. That's cool. I don't know how these would go. Ah, oh, come on, guys, for real. As the kids would say, for reals. Well, who even says that anymore? These don't stack. I mean, I guess you can stack them, 
but it's not as cool as these guys. Look. It ain't going nowhere. No, actually came loose right there. I like this design better. Right off the bat, I like this design better. If you see the brick ones, get the brick ones. They're pretty cool. Um, the only thing is that they, have, they weeble wobble. They don't stand still unless you put it upside down or you put it this way. Which doesn't make sense because then you can't stack it that way. So, so right off the bat, what I'm noticing is um, the door opens this way, right? So that's open. Still haven't seen inside, but you stack it. You stack it like that. So, really? have it like that side by side I don't know man I don't know if I like that design not cool it was cool but I think they could have done a better so that you can stack up one on top of each other and I don't think you can it just seems flimsy now it was cool at first but I don't know if I like the door opening up sideways so anyway just a little minor thing, just me. Um, it's just me the way. I just wish you could stack it up really cool and then you can open them up while they're stacked and you can open them up like that so you can take them out. But anyway, that's besides the point. You can always get like those little plastic um, cases that you can display them in. Um, so we are going to go with this one first. This is one of the plain containers that they have for it even the where is it is it here I don't even know how you open this oh there we go even the way it opens is a bit black not much to it opening so we gotta open there and inside is the little truck and they are in a little plastic. What's it? Oh, it even has a... What is this? It's like a stop sign or something. I don't know. Let's see if this little paper... Yeah, it is. Oh, look at that. So this looks like... I don't remember this one in the one that I bought. But if this is cool and correct... It looks like you can create a street and it's got the little stickers with stop sign so you can put on this on this little gadget and then I guess you can post put it on something not sure what and it comes with this little pamphlet inside and got it well actually this this has series 12 collect them all and there are so yeah look okay ah i don't know if that if it still makes any sense but anyway it looks like you're able to create a whole city let me stand up so you guys can see this but it looks like you can create a whole city and it's got stickers for you to put on here so you're able to take this apart somehow and these little doors and things become like the street and the ramps that's pretty cool I guess and it looks like there's three six nine there's ten this pamphlet here says series 12 so I think there's more but right there there's 10 figures, 10 trucks, little check boxes for you to check off whichever one you got. And let's see what the truck is that we got in this one. So this is, it looks like a gas, gasoline tanker. Yeah, it's a gasoline tanker. Check him out. Pretty cool. 
nicely detailed is detailed that's pretty cool so we got that truck doesn't have a name or nothing on it it just says top card at the bottom it's got uh yeah, I want to say it's a gasoline tanker because it's got some fire thing on the sides. It says Tonka. Pretty cool. I just wish you had a better way to display it. There we go. We'll just put that little guy right there. Um, Let's see. Let's open up this other one. Let me put this to the side. See what's inside. Same thing. All right, so this one has different stickers. This one has different stickers. It's got the little hazard signs or whatever. It's got the streets at the bottom. And then it's got, I guess, images for you to make like a storefront, building fronts and whatnot. And let's see if this pamphlet is different same thing it brought one of those little sign things let's put that there and looking at the pamphlet in the little paper in the back yeah it looks like the cars the the trucks they're all the same there's 10 trucks this says series 12 um, I'm going to see if there's, a, there's another set, Series 12, because so far, the stickers are different, and they, I don't know if they coincide with what's inside with the truck, but it is pretty cool, and you can create your own little diorama, the little set of Tonka trucks, little city, where if you have a train set. I don't know how well this would work. You would, that would have to be a really small train set. And this one right here is a fire truck. Haha, <laughs> pretty cool. Any firemen out there? Oh, and all right. So we got to be careful with the stuff because I already popped off the ladder. Let me get it back in there. So the ladder came off pretty easily. Okay, there we go. So we got the ladder, it goes up and down. The other one didn't really do much, but this one goes up and down. It's a little fire truck. Also detailed. For what it is, it's pretty detailed, it's pretty cool. This is fire truck 22. That's pretty neat. Let me put this back in here. Where's a three-year-old when you need them? I don't know how to open this stuff. Anyway, I'll figure it out later. So we got we got a gasoline tanker and we got a fire truck. So so far, all right, we're doing good. No repeats yet. Hey, this didn't have the little. This one came out different. This one doesn't have a little sign like the other two. But it is a truck. It's a yellow truck at that. This one looks like a roadside truck. Yeah, it looks like a little roadside truck. Like working on something. Pretty neat, huh? Put that there. It didn't come with stickers. That one did not have any stickers inside. It does have a pamphlet. Oh, things just got serious. So this one right here, the one with the brick, apparently is series three. And this series has, what do we got? This one has 20 trucks. So Series 3 has 20 trucks, whereas Series 12 
which is these guys, has 10 trucks. Interesting. And the trucks are definitely different. The fire truck looks the same. Nope, the fire truck is different. The ladder is a different color. That's pretty cool. So, keep in mind that it doesn't say it on the on the on the box. It doesn't say it on here. It just says Tonka truck built to last, tinies. It doesn't tell you what series it is. So even that in itself is a, is a mystery when you go to buy them. So, well, at least now you know. If you see the bricks, they're Series 3. I will be taking a picture of this and posting it on the, on the page. But, yeah. So that's Series 3. So I got two Series uh, 12. The other two secret containers are from this series over here. So... Let's see what else we got in here. Again, no little stick, no stickers, and no accessory as far as as the little signage thing goes. Okay, so yep, series three, and this one is a cement truck. How many of you guys had the cement truck? I had, I think it was the dump truck. I think it's the one I have in the garage. Pretty cool, black and yellow, cement truck. Pretty neat. All right, so, so far we've got a pickup truck, a cement truck from series three, a fire truck and a gasoline tanker from series 12. This is the last one for the Tonka minis or Tonka tidies as they're called. And what is this one? Same thing, series three, no stickers, no accessories. And this one is a police pickup truck. Any cops out there? There you go. Let me try to get it closer. I'll take pictures as well. But pretty neat, black and white. Says Tonka Police 911 on it. It's got the lights blue, red, white, red, white, blue on the top. Tonka Police on the hood. Not much for moving. They just lied. Yeah, they just lied. I mean, the wheels are, they, they, when you move it with your finger, they do move. But as far as them moving on their own, like if you were to like just give it a push, a little bit, if that. So there you have it, guys. These are the, the Tonka, Tonka Tinies. They are the Tonka Tinies. These are the, the guys. So I'm going to have to go back out there and see if there is a different kind. Because right here with you guys, I was able to see that Series 3, which is this one, is the ones with the brick design. And then the ones with the regular container looking design, um, that's Series 12. Each series has a different type of car, uh, uh, trucks, cars, bulldozers. It looks like they even have a helicopter. On Series 3, there's a helicopter. I don't see that in series 12. I do see race cars though. Dump trucks, uh, plow machine, back hose. I see that there. But in this other one over here, I see one helicopter, two helicopters, and I think a boat. I'm gonna need a magnifying glass with these little guys. But anyway, there you have it. Our first unboxing very cool uh, like I said series 12 brings stickers and little accessories series 3 is just the trucks with the stackable um, containers I guess you can stack it up like that 
Um, I wish there was a better way to be able to stack them so that you can display them. The doors open this way. So I mean, you can park your little guy in there, but if you put it this way, he's gonna be sideways. So you have to open it, like, stack it like that, sideways. And again, it's not like they stand firm because if you do it this way, then the word Tonka is upside down. Um, if you do it this way, the word Tonka is right side up, but they have that flimsy wibble wobble thing going on. And then it really doesn't look cool when you stack it up on top of it, as opposed to if you put it right on the word Tonka, but then you have this thing in the front. I don't know, it, it's just me. Some people might not care about details like that, but it's just me. Where did it go? Oh, I put it, yeah, I put them in there. So, there you go. Tonka Tinies, uh, very cool, very detailed-ish for what they are. Um, if you're a big fan of Tonka trucks and you see these guys out there, I suggest pick them up. They're really cool. Um, I think they would look cool on your desk at work. Definitely a conversation piece. There's very hard to find somebody that's never heard of Tonka truck or, or the little cars. So there you have it. I give this a really cool thumbs up. Um, for the effort, the containers, eh. but the little cars, if you have the stickers and you're able to pull off a, a nice small, uh, what do you call it, diorama, like maybe something like this, like this uh, spinner thing, and you create like a little city, I think that would be really cool. Um, nice little hobby to try to pull off if, you, if you're really good at, at um, doing little miniatures or dioramas and stuff like that. I think that would be really cool. So there you have it guys, the Tonka series, Tonka Tiny series by, um, who is it again? By Funrise, yep, by Funrise, um, very cool, I'm going to see if I can try to get us some more, um, these little guys, I will put them up for sale on, on the store soon, so just be look, look out for them, I'll create a, an album just for the for the minis and there you go Tonka minis or Tonka tinies BAM <laughs>